Hey everybody. So this one is going to be a bit of a shaky cam video because the first time I took a video when I was showing this originally, the video was all audio only for some strange reason. Not really sure why. So I had a nice little getaway weekend down to Bangor and stopped at a Batteries Plus and picked up. Well, I'm staring at a UPS, so probably picked up a battery. And uh, what I got was, you'll see here in a second, I'm not going to slide it all the way out because this is all running right now. What I got was a replacement battery for this UPS. This is a full length battery. The reason why I'm doing this quick video is in the same line as when I did the video about how your Belkin uh, UPS is very likely not dead. Well, not only is your Belkin UPS very likely not dead, this is a FC 550. There was an FC 750. And the 550, the battery stops right about here. And then there's a great big foam block right here. Well, the 750 and the 550 use the exact same chassis because the 750's replacement battery fits perfectly in here. So you get all the runtime that they gave you if you bought a 750, but in your 550's chassis. I don't need 750, but I want the runtime. And I wasn't going to waste the difference in price because it was a $5 difference in price between buying the replacement battery specifically for this model or the replacement battery for the 750, which fits. They're all 12 volt batteries. This one is a 9 amp hour battery compared to the original factory battery that was rated at only 5 amp hours. Chances are this one's going to last a lot longer. It's a AGM battery. Uh, I paid $42 US for it. So after exchange, which has been sucky lately, uh, it's the better part of 50 bucks. But I'd rather pay $50 for a much longer run battery in a UPS that I know works well because I've always liked these. Uh, they have automatic voltage regulation in them. A lot of the cheaper UPSs these days don't have AVR. Uh, I probably mentioned that in the video that I did over the summer talking about how to find out whether or not your Belkin UPS is actually dead or not. And uh, yeah, it's uh, it was worth it for me and I would suggest it be worth it for anybody else, especially where I'm sure that the bulk of the viewers are from the U.S. and you guys have access to those batteries at the prices I listed at them or listed them at. Uh, I'm sure there's probably places around in the bigger cities in Canada where you can quite easily get similar pricing, but where I live, not a lot of places to get batteries, so I figured. I'll just get one the next time I'm down in Bangor because I know that place carries them. So yeah, bigger battery, the same UPS, more runtime. Which after the hurricane this summer, these Belkins were my friend, and now with a better battery in my second Belkin, and down here is the one that you saw the video where I used a battery out of a rescued piece of hardware and found out that. Uh, but this UPS was also fine. So between the two, this one's just sitting here charging. It's not... Uh, actually, I don't even think it's charging anymore. I just, no, I've got it charging. Uh, so yeah, so that one's just sitting around all fully charged up because I haven't figured out exactly what I want to do with that one yet. So yeah. Just buy a bigger battery. Thanks.